Well, thank you, everyone, for, uh, you want me to hold this? Okay, like this? How's that? Check, check, one, two, three. Everything good? All right. Okay, so I want to thank everyone for coming out on this beautiful day here in the great town of Hyde Park to be a part of this uh, little ceremony here. You know, as a newly elected uh, state senator, I uh, have really uh, made it a top priority to try to seek out avenues that I can assist my local governments. And of course, one of those things that we can do is to try to bring back funding um, to help fund really necessary programs with the, each of our local communities. But I have to tell you that I quickly discovered that gaining access to local funding is very, very challenging. Um, the rules about how funding uh, works in New York State have drastically changed in really the last year. And so all of the uh, Senate members, the Assembly members, are really confronted with a whole new process that no one's really tried out before in terms of accessing local funding. And one of the key elements that we quickly discovered in accessing funding to bring back is that those who are applying for the grants, those who you are trying to assist, must really have done uh, really due diligence, really uh, done all of the necessary research and paperwork to, to show that they are qualified for these funds and that when these funds are given to them that they will uh, use them in a very efficient way that will really bring back um, a great deal of good to their local community. So certainly uh, our office has no shortage of people applying for grant money uh, wanting uh, help with their local communities. All of our local governments have reached out to us. But I have to tell you that when we were uh, looking through that large stack of applications that we had, when we um, discovered that we had actually identified some money that we could bring back to our local district, um, even though it was a very small amount, uh, we wanted to make sure that it went as far as possible. There were only a few towns that really had done the necessary research that we thought, we thought was required to, to make them acceptable for these grants. And I have to tell you that we were extremely impressed with the amount of work that the town of uh, Hyde Park's town board and their supervisor, Eileen Rohr, had done. Um, it was really clear to us that with this money, they could make it go a very, very long way and use it towards important infrastructure projects here in the town of uh, Hyde Park and to use it to help uh, develop their sewer system, all towards the goal of creating more jobs here locally, towards reducing the cost of living here locally, and towards really improving the quality of life and generating much more economic stimulus here in our town of, of uh, Hyde Park. And without their work, and without all of the research and time and commitment that they put towards this project, um, they would have not have qualified for this grant and other towns might have gotten it instead. So we don't have access to a lot of funding, um, but we're happy today that we're able to bring a small amount back here to the town of Hyde Park to the tune of uh, $100,000. And uh, we're going to be presenting a check here later in this ceremony. But first, I just want to give uh, the town supervisor, Eileen Rohr, who headed up this endeavor, who is really responsible for leading the way and making this possible. I want to give her a few uh, minutes just to say a few comments to you. Thank you so much, Senator. Uh, well, good morning, everyone, and thank you for coming out, as uh, the senator mentioned, in this incredible fall day in Hyde Park. And uh, thank you very much for those kind words, Senator. And it, it really is that this check, although he calls it small, we in Hyde Park feel like it's a very large acknowledgement for the good work that we've been doing as the town board. Uh, you know, one of the first things that we did when we came on board is just met with our stakeholders, with our business community, with our property owners, with our uh, um, the Department of Transportation, Dutchess County Planning, to ascertain what are these impediments to growing our downtown. Uh, and, and the thing that came out very, very strongly is that we need additional infrastructure. So. Um, what we then did is created a study called Hyde Park Walks uh, to address the other component of infrastructure uh, besides sewer, which is, of course, sidewalks. So um, yet, uh, so we also then went to DOT, create, had a very long dialogue with them about how we could implement uh, future improvements to our town to make it more walkable, to bring in new jobs, to bring in new businesses. So really, uh, the combination of a decentralized sewer and additional walk ability is really going to bring Hyde Park into the 21st century. You know, looking around and walking and talking with people, 
our, we have great neighborhoods. We have the type of neighborhoods the future is looking for. They're dense, they're located uh, near mass transit, they're smaller homes. So the, but what we have lacked for, for decades uh, is a, a walkable town center. So with these funds uh, for a, a commercial sewer district and streetscape enhancements, we're gonna be starting to bring that home. And I, again, I, I thank you, the Senator, for uh, acknowledging our hard work and that we have done our due diligence. And um, with that, I'd like to introduce the other members here. Um, we have Council, um, uh, uh, County Legislator Sue Serino, uh, County Legislator Rich Perkins, uh, Councilwoman Emily Spenson, and uh, Councilman Ken Schneider. And, you know, we've worked really as a team. That's what we um, have done as a town board. So I don't know if you all would like to... Um, thank, you, thank you for... Thank you, Supervisor. Thank you. Well, good morning. Uh, for those who do not know me, I'm Councilman Ken Schneider for the Fourth Ward, and I'm the li liaison for the um, for the Chamber of Commerce here in High Park. And it's just a great day that we're able to have our Senator Terry Gibson here to give us not a small check, but a very large check for $100,000. You know, it's really simple. If you want to sell your car, you don't pull into a car lot and have your car dirty and the floor is not vacuumed. And that's really what we're doing with our town. We're selling our town and we're cleaning up our town to attract new businesses. And by having sidewalks, by having the streetscapes, and by having the funds that you're giving us today, we're really able to clean our town and attract new businesses. And I'm really excited about that. So I really want to thank uh, our supervisor, Aileen Rohr, who has really put in a lot of time and energy into getting us grants. You know, our county legislators, they've been here really for uh, a half a day Friday, giving us a, a huge amount of money through the county, and now we're working with the states. So when you hear the word shared services, I tell you, our town hall has really been doing that and been working extremely hard trying to get the shared services from the county and with the state, and I'm really excited that we're able to move forward in a, in a great light here. So thank you very much for coming, and again, thank you for uh, all your work. Thank you. Hi, I'm Councilwoman Emily Spenson from the uh, First Ward of Hyde Park. Um, a lot of it's already been said, but I'll just follow up and say that um, our effort here since we were elected last year is to try to bring Hyde Park into the 21st century. A lot of people talk about what used to be here. What we need to talk about is what needs to be here next. And one of the things that we need is modern wastewater treatment. Um, the days of big sewer systems that go right up and down the highway, those days are over and the communities that have them are dealing with a lot of um, maintenance needs now and so in some ways we're lucky to be able to start fresh here in Hyde Park with a modern targeted wastewater treatment system just for the commercial hubs where it's needed so that we can allow those key commercial areas to um, develop into the types of businesses that residents want um, so I'm really excited to be moving forward with that um, I would thank uh, Supervisor Eileen Rohr for all of her work um, our county legislators for their support and especially Senator Gibson for uh, this very generous check thank you so uh, I think we're now going to uh, deliver the actual check so stand by <laughs> you're right it's not a small check it is a big check right so uh, everybody want to how do you want to do this gather around here uh, so we got to get make sure we see the check though uh, should we stand in front Let's stand in front of this Let's yep. okay all right okay Okay, I'll go in? like this. Are you go in? up there. Are you in? Yep, I'm in. Yep. Are you in? Okay. Lots of pictures and big checks. <laughs> <laughs> Good day for Hyde Park. Thank you. Thank you Thank all you. for coming out. Thank, Thank you very much. All right. All right. So you'll be here next Monday, too? Uh, oh, yeah. This, we'll make this a weekly occurrence. <laughs> 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 we got a bunch of these blankets. <laughs> 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 Thanks, everybody, for coming out. Thanks. Actually, you know what?